In this video, I'm going to talk about what is the difference in electrolysis of molten and aqueous NaCl. See, NaCl is the same, but it's ionic compound, so it will behave uh, in the same way whether you dissolve in the in the water or it, it should be molten. So, what is the meaning of molten? Molten means basically you heat NaCl, and when you heat, it separate into the ions, and you will find only these two ions in the the container. Only these two ions. Now this is called molten stage. Molten means you separate the ions based on heating. Well, now what happens when you, you can also separate with help of water. So when you put the water, when you put the water here, H2O, you will get NaCl, Cl minus and also there will be ions of H plus and OH minus during hydrolysis. Right. So this is the major difference. When you understand what is the difference of these solution when they are going on electrolysis, you will understand why the product is not going to be same. So when you are talking about molten stage, what you are talking that there will be only two ions in the solution. So what is the electrolysis setup? So first we have a cell. So this is a setup where you have the battery which is a power supply which pull the electron out from the anode. The cathode which is attached to the negative terminal of the battery and the anode which is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. Okay, so this is called negatively charged ions attracted to the anode. Now in this solution, if you talk about molten stage of the sodium chloride, what we discussed that there are only two ions. So during electrolysis, the ionic compound break because that is the meaning of electrolysis. Electrolysis means basically you are breaking the ionic compound using the electricity. So electricity is coming from the power supply which is battery here and it is lysing the sodium chloride. So you will see here the two product Na plus and Cl minus. Now these are going to be attracted based on where there is more electron where there is less electron. So anode as you can see here electron is going out from the anode so there is a deficiency of electron. So this, elec this chloride ion will be attracted to this and this chloride ion lose the electron to form chlorine gas. So here what reaction is happening? The chloride ion minus it is forming the chlorine gas. So now you can balance it 2Cl electron is going out. So this is the equation what is happening at anode. Now what is happening at cathode? So always remember cathode cation. So cation will always go to cathode. Why? Because here there is a more electron. So sodium ion will take the electron and finally it will become a sodium and it will be liquid stage correct so this is the equation uh, what is happening at cathode so this is this process means forming from uh, ion to atom so what is happening here this is ionic stage it is the elemental stage this process is called discharge of ion so discharge of ions means what losing or gaining electron to become a stable atom molecule or the whatever gaseous form so here sodium has less electrons so it will take electron become a sodium atom which is more stable form so this is called discharge of ion so what is discharge of ion it is the gain or loss of electron to or lose uh, better try it, lose of electron at electron to become what atoms and molecules so in this condition we don't have any doubt because there are only two ions sodium and the chloride ion now you imagine that what happened if this is under aqueous condition coming to the second scenario so now in this case which is we have the aqueous sodium chloride so when you do electrolysis there will be what are the ions Na plus and H plus why H plus because H plus is coming from H2O when it breaks down chloride ion and OH minus so now there is a competition that who is going to release at cathode sodium ion or hydrogen ion who is going to come at chlorine uh, at anode chloride ion or hydroxide ion then there is a competition so after this competition who is going to come for example when I ask you in sodium and hydrogen who can come so you we know that sodium 
it's very good and happy to become a sodium ion so if you give a competition who will take electron very very easily obviously hydrogen will take electron easily because this is a uh, the group one and just wa want to become a helium but sodium atom already is stable with the two eight the stable structure and sodium is happy don't want to take electron if you will give you the option that hydrogen and the sodium so then s obviously hydrogen will go and release become hydrogen gas now if you look this scenario chlorine and the OH OH minus right so in this scenario again there is a competition that who is going to come here so here OH minus is more uh, easy to get electron than the chloride so this is going to discharge very fast so you should remember this uh, important table this table tell you about what what is the EG of discharge for cation so the first table talk about the cation so as you can see here in group number one so these are from group number one the first two so these are not very easy to take the electron followed by group number two which is calcium magnesium then zinc, uh, lead and iron and H plus is here so this is basically similar to reactivity series what we used to learn um, in the metal reactivity so whatever element present above the hydrogen they are not going to be very very easily released and discharged so instead of the iron hydrogen will come out so hydrogen ion are easy to discharge preference to the metals above the hydrogen reactivity stage. this is very important level and now look, look if you talk about the copper and this these metals ion below the hydrogen series they can discharge during electrolysis compared to the hydrogen atom so this will help you that uh, whenever they occur solution whether hydrogen will come first or the metal will come first now coming to the anion part this is the list that if you in the solution you have copper sulfate copper nitrate chloride bromide iodide and hydroxide ion so each of discharge is highest is in the OH minus so OH minus which is hydroxide ion it will always try to become uh, form the oxygen and going to release the oxygen and this is a balanced equation so OH minus give up the electron most readily in electrolysis and form water and oxygen so I hope you understood that in this equation what happened the hydrogen is going to form a at the cathode so let's write it down the balance equation what will happen at the cathode so at the cathode easy discharge will be with the H plus so H plus plus electron it should form H2 which is a stable molecule so to balance this we need to write this equation equation number one what happened at anode at anode OH minus is going to discharge and it will give you water plus O2 plus 4 electrons so let's write it down this balance equation now this is the basically final equation for the uh, this equation when you combine these two equation together 1 and equation 2 equation 1 and 2 this is basically electrolysis of water so it will be H2O followed by how it will break it will become 2 hydrogen plus oxygen so I think this is clear for you now